In this video, let's take a look at the skeleton component from Material UI. Skeleton components are used to display a placeholder preview of the content before the data gets loaded to reduce load time frustration. Let's understand its usage with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI skeleton dot TSX. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. I'm going to import the stack component and replace the div tag with the same. I'll also add spacing is equal to 1 and width is equal to 250 pixels. Now to add a skeleton, we import the skeleton component. For the JSX, within the stack, invoke the skeleton component. And that is pretty much it. If we include this component in app component, and head to the browser, we see a horizontal skeleton component. And this is because by default, the variant of a skeleton is text. Let's look at two other variants. So the first one is variant is equal to text, which is the default. The second one is a circular variant. So variant is equal to circular. And let's add width is equal to 40. Height is equal to 40. Take a look at the browser and you can see the circular skeleton. This is suitable for avatars. The last variant is rectangular. So skeleton variant is equal to rectangular, width is equal to 250 and height is equal to 125. If we take a look at the browser, you can see the rectangular skeleton component. This is suitable for images. One other prop which is important is the animation prop. By default, the animation is pulse animation. You can change that to wave animation. So add on all three skeletons And you can see the wave animation. If you want no animation, you can set animation to boolean false. Of course, if you are showing a loading state, a skeleton with animation is recommended. Now what I'm going to do is showcase a YouTube homepage video card with loading skeleton and the actual content. The end result is more what I want to showcase rather than the code I'm about to write. If I'm a bit fast in the next two minutes, that is intentional. I'm going to begin by importing a few other components. Box, avatar, and typography. I'm also going to import use state and use effect from React. In the component, I'm going to create a loading state variable. The initial value is true. Next, I'm going to replace the entire JSX. I'm going to start with a box component. Set width to 250 pixels. Within the box, we write the JSX for the image skeleton as well as the actual image based on the loading state. So curly braces, if loading is true, we return the skeleton component with a few props. Variant is going to be equal to rectangular, width is equal to 256, Height is equal to 144 and animation is equal to wave. 
However, if loading is false, we're going to render an image from the Unsplash API. So source is equal to a 256 by 144 image. Alt is going to be equal to skeleton. Width is equal to 256 again. And height is equal to 144. Next, I'm going to add a stack component. Stack direction is equal to row. Spacing is equal to one. And for the styles, width is 100% and margin top is 12 pixels. Within the stack component, I'm going to first add the avatar skeleton and then the actual component. So once again, curly braces. If loading is true, we render a skeleton variant is equal to circular, width is equal to 40, height is equal to 40, and animation is equal to wave. If loading is false, we render the avatar component with V as the initial. Next, I'm going to nest another stack component. I'm going to add a style width, which is 80%. Within the component, I'm going to handle the loading state for typography. So curly braces, if loading is true, react fragment, Typography variant is equal to body one. And we add a skeleton text. So skeleton component variant is equal to text, which you can omit. Width is equal to 100%. Animation is equal to wave. I'm going to copy this typography, paste it, change variant to body two and the skeleton component remains the same. If loading is false, typography again, but this time the text is React MUI tutorial and variant is equal to body one. Now, if you nest a skeleton inside a typography component, the skeleton automatically infers the dimensions of the typography based on the variant. This pretty much is the JSX we need. Now, let me add an effect to set loading state to false after three seconds. Use effect, accepts a function. We want this to run only once. We call set timeout. The first argument is a function. After three seconds, we want to call set loading passing in false. If we now take a look at the browser, you can see the loading skeleton for three seconds and then the actual content replaces it. This, as you might have guessed, is good from a user experience point of view. I hope you now have a good understanding of the skeleton component. With that, we conclude the feedback components from Material UI. In fact, we have covered all the major components from the core Material UI library. But MUI also has a package called Lab which contains a few experimental components that we can use. Let's learn a couple of them over the next few videos. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.